Hello there, I'm Andrew Hill, and welcome back to Hudsman 4. We are unfortunately the Cape Commune rather than South Africa because we've gone communist. Look at that lovely little sickle and hammer. So stupid. It's all it's done to the flag to make a communist. We're issuing Pretoria arms, and we have Moses Cotain. What a lovely chap he is. What a nice guy he looks like. We're very communistic, and we are also pursuing avenues towards uh, the north into the Civil War. We are enforcing a couple divisions here and there. We're going to try and encircle these divisions, and then see if I can make a couple sneaky moves around the side there. Got a lot of political power because I'm saving them up to be able to become free and become an independent nation we're going to save our political power nicely one other thing i want to do is i want to make sure these guys are equipped properly also i've had a thought i've had a thought guys right think about this for a second riddle me this lads riddle me this if you look at the money mod yeah eight million right i don't just have to buy infantry equipment i could buy a thousand artillery or i could buy 500 light tanks with 500 light tanks, I could in, I could do a lot of things. I've got light tanks tech researched. So, with this armor division, I could add one more tank to it, give it a combat width of 10. I could recruit three light tank divisions with this. And nothing. How cool would that be? So I think we're going to spend our 10 million on that. It's going to take a little while. Another, you know, another couple hundred days. But we're going to get some really nice divisions out of that. That's going to be hugely valuable. Okay, so we're continuing to recruit divisions all left and right because we are actually about to become free and also get two more factories from Pretoria Arms. Let's also start to make uh, this tank division and I think we should consider making it a bit more armorific. No, I doesn't really do much. Reliability for... Ex actually, let's make it give it reliability because we're not going to have the ability to make it not reliable. Like, we're not going to be able to replace them very easily. So improving reliability I think is going to be a huge bo boon. Um, the only thing that reduces is... So we can increase reliability. I don't have that, unfortunately, so... I don't really want to cut down the... Sp Actually, the speed doesn't matter, does it? But I don't even know the political power to do that. So let's just go on... Stick to reliability. And we're going to call... We're not going to call this the Matilda. We're going to call this the Apartheid... Apartheid No More. No. We're going to call this... That sounds, that sounds demonetization worthy. We're going to call this... United Africa. That's right. Because this is going to be what saves Africa. So we're going to chuck two factories onto this. And then that's going to mean when we finish Pretoria Arms, that's what's going to give us the factories that we need. It's going to be amazing, guys. Okay, so we've just done a little encirclement of these guys. Let's not attack. So what we're going to do, instead of attacking here, let's go over there. What we're going to do is we're going to go through to Valdoid. And why not encircle these four divisions? Because there's just four divisions here. Let's mess them up, guys. Let's mess them up. Oh, no! No, no, you go there. You go there. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, so let's go over here. We're going to need to reinforce this then. Oh, here we go. Oh, here it is. Good stuff. Reinforce that. Uh, it looks like they are attempting to uh, make it work. Sneaky buggers. No, no, what are you doing? Jesus, I hate the frontline system. Please don't re leave your positioning, okay? We really do need you here. How long until he gets there? 12 hours. All right, that's fine. Oh, we can be free. Raise our autonomy to free. Here we go. Three, two, one. And we are now free. That is right. We are free. No longer a puppet. We are free. Which means we can become anti-colonist crusaders to gain 10% base war support and leave the allies. Yes. And then we can also demand Madagascar and do other crazy things like that. Is France going to go communist? God, I hope so. How long until they break out? Six hours. Okay. Okay. Let's go. How long until you get there? Two days. Come on, baby, you can do it. Now we're talking. Alright, man, if this is what you want to do, you do you, buddy. You do you. This is how you want to do your life. I'm going to encircle the pants off you. I'm going to do. How does it feel to be completely and totally encircled? Let's go. 
Nice. Let's go. Let's use this division to go to Aviado, which is the capital. Hold that position real nice. Oh, there we go. We I mean, just finished Pretoria Arms. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Let's take a look at the description of that. I actually really like the description of that. Uh, and I... This is a real benefit of having, a of having someone who can support you guys. I've just put up a video for this series. I just put up episode 2, and it doesn't have a thumbnail. And I just received a text saying, Hey, it doesn't have a thumbnail. Put a thumbnail up. This is what happens when you're a really good YouTuber, guys. You sometimes forget to put thumbnails up. Anti-Colonialist Crusade. Colonialism sits at the heart of the imperialist system that oppresses the workers of this world. We are in a unique position. A unique position, guys. To smash the system and free the African people from centuries of exploitation that we've had to endure. Because we've had to deal with this too long, guys. We need to be ourselves. We are free. We are free and able to look after ourselves and pursue joy. So we're going to just uh, reinforce this position real quick. Kind of wipe these guys out. They're in multiple combats and they're encircled, which is really good. Let's get to Oviado. Might as well wipe out any divisions we have. We've managed to wipe out like a bunch of divisions, which is great. 30k manpower isn't great, but we're going to... I think we are going to have to slowly improve my manpower a little bit. This is a problem. Yeah. Because even though we have almost 1% from black volunteers, 2.5% for limited conscription, but it's modified to 40% because of history of segregation. Once we finish this, we can start going down, we can get an extra research slot, and then I think we need to start going down the routes of War Measures Act and try to get to reconstitute that and get rid of history of segregation, because this is just messing me up. It is killing me, honestly. Like, not- this manpower thing is really bad, because I should be on three and a half percent. I should be on double the total manpower I should have. I should have an extra 200,000 almost. But I can't. That's very troubling. Are oh, they gonna get wiped out real quick. Thing is, I actually don't want to win this fight just yet. I actually just kind of want to keep fighting. So... I'm not actually just gonna win it. The Communards are here too. Communards, the Communists. Ooh, Mountain Divisions, baby. Alright, so now we're gonna need to get a little bit of oil. Just a little bit. Un petit pas. Um, because unfortunately... What's wrong? Why, why is it not covered? There we go. Unfortunately, the steel is a problem. To be honest, we're not really doing much of our factories anyway. We're really not. Let's just get... Let's just... Let's just trade for it all, right? Here we go. That's going to give us tanks, support, and infantry equipment for days. For days, guys. These guys are getting really experienced, which is awesome. Now, unfortunately, they are still only six combo whips, so I'm going to need to make them a lot better. But we are—we do now have enough infantry divisions to, to cover all of our borders. This is the thing. So I do like that. To be honest, I wonder if I should maybe just go ten width. But, I don't know. Try and overwhelm them or something? It's going to make them paper divisions, but... Not sure. So we, at the moment they're 12 width, which is just really weird. I think I might actually, like I might remove that. Because being 10 width is just fucking strange. Look at that. Tons more infantry equipment. There we go. Makes things a bit easier. So we can try to spam a bit more together. There we go. Oh, whoa, whoa. Who's, uh, who's got low, low auric right here? There we go. Calm down, calm down. Alright. So yeah, we're a little bit weaker now, but that's okay, because, first of all, our generals are really good. Oh man, look at these guys, they got wrecked. I'm making some army experience from that as well. We're finally free, though. I would like to try and get, like, to Madagascar and stuff, and I probably will make the African People's Union. Uh, one thing I could do is that when making the African People's Union, you could- No, actually, there aren't actually anyone to invite. You could invite Liberia. Liberia is a possibility, actually, but they would be horrendously destroyed. So I don't think it's really worth it. Um, I, really mean, I just want to make that so when I finish, I can go on the factions menu, and it would be like, Ooh, African Union, yay! Uh, what else, what else, what else? So we get the CBs over here, so once you get that, we can get down to the Portuguese. It's going to be... I'm probably going to wait until, like, 1940 for the actual wars. Because I do want to, you know, be smart about this. Going to get a research slot as well. And then we could grab the War Measures Act. So one research slots, then two, three, four, five, six focus trees, six times seven. So basically another year. 
it's going to be late 39 before I even start working towards the focus tree. So I think early 1940 is when the combat will begin. The Anschluss of Austria, okay, and the Italy and its claims in Yugoslavia. Yep, 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 yep. It's fine, which means more war support, which is something good. Still more divisions pouring in, which is great. We'll train them all up when the time is right. I'm gonna chuck a couple of these in here as well. Because it'd be really nice if I could get a couple tanks together. Just a few tank divisions. Because just, just to compare these right now, right? Like, just compare these divisions. We have double the soft, double soft attack, double hard attack, and compared to normal infantry divisions, like, their piercing is gonna be nothing, because of my massive armor. Even if they double that, they're gonna, even if they double my divisions, if they're full 20 width, they're still only gonna have 8 piercing or so. So I'm still gonna be able to be, to be able to deal with their piercing difference. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be great. Building tons of divisions. Don't want to build too many, but I do want to try to get some of this. So there we go, light tanks. Obviously, I'm never going to get enough to make that. So I think we're just going to be able to have three light tank divisions. But that's okay. That's really all we need. There we go, lads. Oh, we got our first seasoned veteran here, guys. He's seasoned plus 50% combat modifier. Being seasoned is ridiculous. It is ridiculously valuable. I love being seasoned. Nice little salt, a little bit of pepper. It's great stuff, guys. It's great stuff. And we're, we're tacking up that uh, that money, money, dollar, dollar bill, etc., etc. Got to be wary. Coerce Turkey. Portugal. Portugal doesn't join the Allies too soon. This is the thing. I just want to make sure they don't join the Allies too soon. Okay. Just got to be careful about things. They don't have any focus trees to include Portugal, I don't believe, so that's good. No, so they have no real way to bring in Portugal. Portugal just basically will stay there. So I will probably take Portugal first, and then use that to try and get some encirclement areas over the Allies. Problem is, it would be good if I could... No, I get the, I, I get the CBs directly, don't I? So maybe the sooner I do this, the better. Wow, what's with this? Commonwealth Research Member Bonus. Oh, I'm still part of that. And technology steering. All right. Fuck yeah. That's odd, but look at that. Big booms. Big bonuses for me there. Yes, please. I suppose we should start working on motorized as well when we can. It would be good if we could try and get some uh, motorized together because they're just much better than infantry than the normal infantry when trying to be awesome and spicy. Ah, oh, no, they had to be replenished. They lost some of their experience. Ah. Oh. My vets. Okay. We're up to about 20k now. I think that's probably all we I think that's really all we can do because we do need to save at least some for, you know, the fighting. There we go. We've left the allies, which is actually going to ruin my uh, thing. That's all right. Let's get some research slots. Boom. Yeah. Whoa. What's this? Colonialism sits at the heart of the imperialist system that oppresses the workers of the world. We're in a unique position to smash the system and free the African people from centuries of exploitation. Liberate Angola. It'll take about six months. Countries keep commune. Let's complete the tree. Controls Angola. Freedom for Angola. So I can actually liberate all of these countries. Fantastic. So once I own them, after six months, I can for free release them as individual people. That's brilliant. I love it. I mean, I'll do that at the end, obviously. That's great. That is great. Okay. 16 divisions right now. Pretty good. I'm happy with that. Obviously still can't get war economy because war support's not ticked up enough. A part of me is wondering, though. Will Portugal join the Allies? I have some concerns, I, w I will admit. Will they join the Allies quickly? Should I try to jump on Portugal now? You know? I'm not sure. I'm unsure. Uh, at least we're starting to get some of this uh, lovely tanks together. We're going to have 10k left over. We're going to have about 23, 24 divisions able to do stuff, which will be good. Oh, hey, hey now. 
Pushing real hard. Nice try. How dare you? How very dare you? How are they not capitulated yet, though? What is happening? It's crazy. Public in Spain over here. Is it. Has it bugged a bit? That's my worry. Let's play take deck toe while we wait. Munich agreement exerts influence over Turkey. No! Ah. Oh. So cruel. Can only play it once a turn as well. Sneaky bitch. Right. Oh! It's time! We can get 500 tanks. Light tank, 500. What kind of tanks do I get? Because two! Ah, oh, brilliant. Unfortunately, I didn't get the tanks that I want. That's all right. Look at that. Perfect. They're completely trained now. They'll finish on the 9th of November. Hey, it worked. It's over. We helped them. Ah, oh, glad I could help, guys. And now we're going to get back some really lovely, experienced soldiers. Brilliant. Oh, baby. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Um... Now we just got to wait a little while, because we do have to sit a little bit still, we've got funding research. I think maybe we should try and work towards Portugal now. Repair defense, nice. Let's grab motorized. Yeah, I've got some concerns. Yeah, look at these guys, these guys are trained. I'm gonna put these guys here and we're gonna train these divisions. Because, well, it gives me experience, but also I would like to try and train them up to a sufficient level. Get them to, uh, get them to regulars, you know. It's going to cost me a lot of equipment, obviously, but I think I can handle it. Also, I think I actually am going to have, a, like, an excess of equipment, so I might cut some of this down a bit. Cut down some of my infantry equipment. Try and get more support and more light tanks. Fund the University of South Africa. Let's go Union of African Peoples. The longest time African African people had no say in determining their own destiny. These days are over. We'll create a faction strong enough to withstand any attempt by the Romanches powers of the world to roll back our achievements. Africa will be free of colonialism. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. We're going to get a breakthrough and soft attack as well as a well-planned attack, which is attack damage 15%, a very powerful bonus. Uh, still can't grab war economy because we don't have 50% war support. This world tension is not ticking up. We can get partial mobilization, but we promise we're not going to have good war support for a really long time because we're going to be in an offensive war. So I might go partial mobilization now. Right, we do that and look at that. Oh, that doesn't really help at all. <laughs> Has literally not helped in the slightest. Okay, that's a bit shit. Depressing. Okay. Here we go. Try and avoid training divisions that we don't need to train. How long for these light tanks to be completely trained? The fourth international. <gasps> Ooh, Trotsky's theory is taking the lead. Okay. 9th of November, so pretty damn close. And it looks like we're making a bit more money as well. No, it's still 0 0.01. Hungary has joined the Axis. Yeah, it's to be expected. Oh, factory done. Why, why, why do I have even less factories? What's happening? I thought I was in partial mobilization. What's happening? Is it because I built more? I, I don't know. Well, the English are starting to fill divisions here, which is a bit annoying. It's definitely a bit annoying. I think maybe we should start to prepare. But once these guys are trained, they will uh, go to the correct place. Look at that. Tons of divisions, guys. Experienced, trained men, ready to attack. Well, the Vickers over here. Let's get some of that uh, soft attack bonus. Let's keep sticking it up, boys. Keep sticking it up. Promises of peace. Bloody hell, no way. That's going to be good. And once these are trained, we will move them onto the correct front lines. We're obviously going to have uh, a couple. We're going to need to have two separate generals ready to attack. Portugal's going to definitely need to be first. Uh, I have some concerns that the UK might try this, but we'll take a look. I don't know, I really hope that, they, that you won't join. We can maybe do this before the UK does anything. 
At least, you know, world tension is gradually declining. The, African, the founding members of the African People's Union assembled in Pretoria to announce the creation of their new alliance. European observers were quick to note the only government that in any... Wait. That the only government of any legitimacy president is the government of Cape Commune itself. Moses Cortain presenting over a motley assembly of self-appointed governments and exiled other revolutionary groups. The parties present released... Vice President released a joint declaration calling on the European Imperial Powers to release any lands they hold in Africa to the rightful owners at once, condemning the practice of colonialism and vowing to bring freedom to the oppressed African peoples by whatever means necessary. Hell yeah. Okay, conquer focus against Portugal. The colonies of Angola and Mozambique sit right at our borders, designed to end the exploitation of their people. Hell yeah, it is. Okay, these guys are almost trained. Alright, in the next episode, we're going to finish the training of this. We're going to uh, prepare to declare war onto Portugal. Onto and possibly onto the UK as well. I really hope we don't have to though, because I'm a bit frightened about trying to defend the English on the English borders. Leave a like and a comment in the video, guys. Let me think of the series so far. I was Aldrin. I'll continue to be. This has been Hearts of Iron for African Union, the new edition. Bye bye.